What we're going to do today is find out if the M600 in the LunaCycle X1 will take a 52 volt battery. So what we have here is a LunaCycle battery and it consists of 14 cells in series and there are four parallel groups. The cells are Samsung 25R and we're going to find out whether or not my X1 will take or reject the battery. But before we start the test, we're going to fully charge the battery using this Luna charger. And as you can see, it isn't reading 58.8 volts, which is the fully charged voltage for a 52 volt pack. So I'm going to open it up and adjust it just to make sure that it's at its maximum. Normally I wouldn't mind, but I just wanted to make sure for this test. I've hooked it up to this Fluke multimeter and as you can see, it's 58.73 volts. So we're going to turn the adjustment screw so that the display will read 58.8 volts. And as a warning, if you do decide to open up your charger, make sure you take all the precautions you would normally take while working with live electricity inside of a device. You don't want to accidentally touch something and shock yourself, or you don't want to damage the inside of the unit. There are various versions of this LunaCycle charger. On mine, the voltage adjustment screw is this one right there. So if you're trying to do this to your charger, you should probably look it up online just to make sure that you're adjusting the correct potentiometer. I've adjusted the screw now so that the actual measured voltage at the charging plug is 58.80 volts. Now, if you're trying to adjust your charger, it's not necessary to make it exactly 58.80 so because it's going to drift a little bit so don't worry if it changes a little bit all right now it's charging so we'll wait till it fully charges and then we'll run our test i just finished making the xt90 to xt60 adapter i used a really short section of 12 gauge wire and on the power analyzer it also has 12 gauge wire. So we aren't going to lose much power at all through the wires for this test today. I just finished connecting the battery and attaching it to the frame. So the XT60 connector is inside of here, running through 12 gauge wires, a really short run. This is a LunaCycle 52 volt, four parallel groups, Samsung 25R cells. And according to the power analyzer, we are at 58.86 volts. So let's turn it on and see if it'll turn on. Whoa. that's covered under warranty. Sorry, I couldn't resist. So, let's turn it on and see if it'll turn on. Ooh, it turned on. Let's see if it works. That looks promising. Okay, I'm gonna take it straight to the hill and see what kind of maximum power we can get out of it on a freshly charged battery. We are in the fourth from smallest cog. The assist is set at maximum. This is three out of three. We're gonna go full throttle up the hill. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what we got. Wow, 2,071 watts. Peak amps at 38. Looks like we can get it even higher. I'm gonna shift it down one cog and try that again. Test number two, upshifted one gear.
right, let's see what we got. Nope, not higher. Before we lose any more power, I'm gonna go and do a top speed run on the flat area. Let's see what we can get. I'm gonna start out in the lowest gear, and then I'll ride down this relatively flat area. And I'm gonna have Strava running so that we can get a GPS speed reading. I just got back from my ride and the results are in. So, I gained about three miles an hour. The display topped out at about 28 miles an hour. And just for fun, let's see how high we can get the speed to go with the wheel up in the air. This is my last reading. The last time I did it with the 48 volt battery, it reached about 30.5 miles per hour. I will now try it with the 52 volt battery to see how much faster it might spin. It looks like the unloaded speed went up to 31.9 miles per hour, so it's a small increase. Now regarding scientific integrity, I changed too many variables during this test. See, I changed the length of the run of the wire on my power meter, I changed the gauge of the wire, I changed the battery. So this is a Samsung 25 hour pack, changed the voltage, the bike's also a little heavier with two batteries strapped to it. So way too many things have changed to really compare the last result I got. Plus the last result, the battery wasn't fully charged. However, I set out to test whether or not the M600 on the LunaCycle X1 would handle a 52 volt battery. And I'm happy to report that the answer is yes. I hope someday someone makes a 52 volt pack for it. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.